I'm Nick Britton. I'm the superintendent here at Science Center Station. Science Center was a pile-driven and lagging station with cut and cover, so tower crane access pretty much everywhere. There is a traffic deck at Don Mills and Eglinton to allow traffic to flow. Don Mills and Eglinton is one of the busier intersections in Toronto, so they decided that this one should go underneath to not affect any of the public or the traffic in the area. So on either end of Science Centre, we have a portal which connects the at-grade section to the station themselves. So the west side is shorter due to the road elevations. On the east side, when you come out, you'll come out just at the end of uh, the DVP. There's a main entrance into the station box itself, a pedestrian tunnel into the future bus terminal. The station here started late 2016. There were multiple utility relocations done, hydro duct banks, some telecom, and water main at the same time. The station's just under 900 meters long in its entirety, and we average roughly about 100 workers a day on site. Right now we're just finishing up concrete works here at Science Centre. The finishes have already started, and we're hoping that Science Centre in its whole is completed late 2020. Rail starts at Science Centre early 2020. One of the biggest challenges we had here was the traffic flow. Just at Don Mills and Eglinton being one of the busiest intersections in Toronto, being able to construct in the middle of the intersection while still allowing traffic to flow around you. Uh, Eglinton and Don Mills was actually widened before construction started to allow uh, at least two lanes on either side of the road to keep going as we were building through the middle. One of the other was the intersection itself was decked to allow us to work underneath it to try to minimize the impact we had. A couple of the milestones for early 2020 will be this, the backfilling of the actual station has started in late 2019 and that'll roll into the beginning of 2020. We also have the glass at the main entrance and the glass at the bus terminal being installed through late 2019 into early 2020 and finishes inside the building. Tile, glazing and ceilings are all starting. One of my favorite parts of working here is that you get to see every day, at the end of the day, what you've built. You see something in the morning, to seeing something in the afternoon or in the evening, and you can see that you actually did something that day.